Hello everyone. Today I'm making tomato poaches, tomato trotters stew. And um, the trotters is nicely uh, cooked, soft, soft, soft. I did it in my uh, pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just cook it uh, uh, in a pot. But remember, it's going to take you about four hours. Okay, I've got some blade beef, about 800 grams. I'm going to use the, the garlic. You don't have to use garlic. I've got three large onions, uh, finely chopped, and a piece of uh, green pepper. I didn't have a lot left. You're supposed to add like a whole green pepper or half a green pepper. I only had a quarter, but um, yeah. Then I'm going to add 100 grams of tomato paste and I'm going to boil some rice. And um, what else? Let me show you. I also got some salt, pepper, um, cinnamon stick, allspice and clove. Okay, salt and sugar as well. If you don't want to use sugar, all you do is at the beginning stage, you add uh, one grated carrot or two, depending on your taste. Okay, so let's begin. Get the pot nice and hot and we'll be right back. Okay, let's throw in the whole spices. How many cups? Um, cinnamon, clove, all spice. Onions. Stir. You just let it go until it's golden brown. So guys, I'm going to add a little crushed chili. Just so half a teaspoon. And this is optional, okay? This is about a tablespoon of garlic. I forgot to say there was oil in the pan, in the pot. A couple of tablespoons of oil. Okay, the onions got a nice color on. I'm gonna add the blade beef. Let this fry for a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And um, about two teaspoons of black pepper. But please do it to your taste. So while this is going, let me show you something. So I let it cool off and you'll see the little... This is what you want. The juices eventually becomes 
This is not fat. This is chili collagen. Very good for you. Okay, now I'm going to add my ox trotters. Ooh, I've been looking forward to this meal. Anyways, I probably just have a small bit. But Patricia, my twin sister, she made the last time for my dad, and now I promised uh, to make him. So this is how it goes. <laughs> now at this stage, you can add in um, some more chili, fresh chili, if you want a little bite. I've already added the crushed chili. I'm going to try not to make it strong. Now this is all going to cook together. Look at me. Kijk hier zo. Koningskos, mensen. Koningskos. Oké. Okay. I'll let this cook. For a little bit. And we'll be right back guys. Okay, I'm adding about a cup and a bit of water. I'm going to put on the lid and let this cook on a medium heat for about 25 to 30 minutes. Guys, I'm going to add my 100 grams of tomato paste. You can definitely add tomatoes in here as well. I don't have any tomatoes. I used it yesterday. And now, once the blade beef is tender, your food is basically done. And you add sugar to taste, or like I said, you can add grated carrot. And then you taste as you go along. And the hano need cooking. I said once I taste the meat and then it's done okay guys and what you must always do is because it can stick so you just come and stir okay so it's been um, cooking now for about 35 minutes and I'm gonna add my potatoes, you don't have to add potatoes if you don't want. Whole potatoes. I don't know if I have no other food. Like she's like in missing a skin at the but it's okay. <laughs> Add some water. Close the lid and we're gonna cook this, but remember to stir so it doesn't stick. If it needs a little bit more water, add some water. And we do this until the potatoes are nice and soft. Okay. Okay, guys, the food is done, the potatoes are soft. And looky looky. Look at that man. Oh, <laughs> yummy in my tummy, man. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, guys, we're gonna serve it with rice. Um, I'm gonna dish up a little bit and for Shelly, and then the rest is going to my dad. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I love you guys so much and. Once again, I appreciate all the support and the beautiful comments and to be continued.
Bye everyone. Love you.